This is Sonia T. Anderson at Yahweh Nisi Ministries, and I'm unveiling our Time with the Father personal, personal Devotion subscription box. This month's box, November 2020, is based on love and wisdom. That is the theme for the box. All right, let's see what's in it. Okay, so we have our referral postcard. You can refer a friend, give them this postcard, and get credit for it. You also have our business card to keep in contact with us. We have our featured tour time digest. This digest has this digest is 119 pages. It has 12 lessons on love, how Yahweh loves us and how we can love one another, how we can speak the truth in love, and how we can walk in sacrificial love and obedient love. We have a bookmark. This month's bookmark says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. The key verse is Romans chapter 12, verse 12. We also have our personal devotion, Time with the Father study guide. This study guide matches the book, Torah Time Digest, A Love Like No Other. It's about 40 pages long. I'll go into it in more detail, but this is where you can write down your notes and your keys and your wisdom things that you're getting. For your free gift, you have a wisdom word search puzzle. This puzzle features scriptures on wisdom. All of the words on that particular scripture is in the puzzle. For example, Daniel chapter 1 verse 17. That particular verse is in your crossword puzzle. So you can look up all the words in that verse. This is very helpful during your private devotional time. We also have a hardcover journal. This journal is, is used for your prayer time. You can write down any songs you might get in the spirit. Any thoughts um, that are coming to you. Whatever Yahweh is saying to you. Whatever you want to say to Yahweh, you can journal your own thoughts, prayer requests, things of that nature, uh, write down your dreams, all of those things. So you can decorate the front and back cover if you want to and keep your journal. We also have a pen, which we usually feature some type of fancy pen in each box. And then we have uh, the anointing oil. And also we have an art print, which I will show you that now. With your Time with the Father personal devotion subscription box, you also get a featured art print. This month's art print is one that you can color with crayons, colored pencil, um, watercolor, anything like that. Um, you can frame it if you want to, but basically the whole purpose is for you to meditate and soaking prayer. You might have some soaking prayer music on in the background and just take time to reflect on his word and talk to Father and draw or color or whatever it is. Yeah, it's just kind of a, a relaxing thing that you can do with your personal devotion subscription box. Now, that being said, I do want to go over two things with you. One of which is your study guide and also the tour time digest book. For a love like no other, I'll go over the table of contents and then read an excerpt for you so that you can get an idea of what to expect. Also, in our personal devotion study guide, I'll get give you a quick overview of what's in it. It is about 40 pages long. You may use this as a supplement to your Torah Time Digest. All right, this is Torah Time Digest, a love like no other. I'm going to do a quick book talk and a little bit of an overview on what to expect. Table of Contents. Lesson one is entitled No Greater Love. It talks about how there's no greater love than for one to lay down his own life for his friends. And then lesson two talks about sacrificial love, which goes into the story of Abraham and Isaac and how he was ready to sacrifice his one and only son of the promise in order to please Yahweh. Uh, lesson number three goes into love, grace, and the law. And it talks about how the, th how the three go hand in hand and how they do not cancel one another out. Merciful love goes into detail about how Yahweh's mercy for us is unchanging and how we can walk in the newness of his mercy and his grace. His mercy is new every morning. Agape love discusses how we can love one another truly from the heart. Love and religion details how we can do all these religious things, but if we don't have love, then we're really not accomplishing much. Um, All-consuming love goes into detail about how our love should be all-consuming for Yahweh and also for one another. How we can sow seeds of love is lesson number eight. The importance of a life of devotion is how we need to respond to Yeshua when he asks us for stuff. We need to respond to him in the way that he wants us to and not in our own way. Um, a more excellent way talks about the gifts of the spirit and how we need to keep love first and foremost above the gifts of the spirit. 
Words of Love discusses how we can speak the truth in love, even when we might be faced with challenges in that regard. And Perfected Love talks about how we can be completely mature and complete in love. So I am going to read past introduction and I'm going to go straight into lesson number one, which is entitled No Greater Love, based on our key verse here, John 15, 13, which says no one has greater love nor stronger commitment than to lay down his own life for his friends. In John 15, Yeshua commands us to love one another unselfishly so that we may continue bearing fruit for the kingdom of Yahweh. In addition to that, he identifies himself as a friend to us, which is greater than a servant because he has shared with us everything that he has heard from the Father. We can maintain this friendship with Yeshua by continuing to do all that he asks of us. The greatest commandment that we must walk out is to love one another. John 15, 13 tells us that the greatest love is to lay down one's own life for his or her friends. Remember, Yeshua has already identified himself as our friend, so laying down one's life for our friends include laying down our life for Yeshua Messiah, just as he laid down his life for us. So if you were in a small group Bible study, you can have um, different people in a Bible study read the scripture reading. So someone could read John chapter 15, someone else could read 1 Corinthians 13, and then you can have another person read Matthew 22 verses 34 through 40. This works in a classroom setting as well. I'm not going to read them right now. If you and your personal devotion time, you can read them for yourself. Moving on, a laid down life. The strongest commitment and the greatest love is a sacrificial one. The phrase lay down is translated from the Greek word to thami, which means to lay aside or set down. The word life is translated from the Greek word suche, which means breath of life, human will, personal affections, the entire being, personality, identity, or person. This root word is the root word in our English word psychology. What Yeshua is telling us is that the greatest love requires that we set aside our life, our personal agenda, our will, our affections, personality, identity, mind, soul, and entire being in order to become one with him. This is his commandment and it is not optional. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 says, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is within you, whom you have received as a gift from Yahweh and that you are not your own property? You were bought with a price. You were actually purchased with the precious blood of Yeshua and made his own. So then, honor and glorify Yahweh with your body. A warning against idolatry. In Exodus chapter 20, verse 3, Yahweh says, You shall have no other gods before me. The word gods here is translated from the Hebrew word Elohim, which is generally translated as God. However, it also means special possessions or special works. The word me is translated from the Hebrew word panea, which means in front of my face. So Yahweh clearly states that we are to have no other gods, special possessions, or connections with dishonorable activity in his presence or set before his face. It is an act of defiance. Idols include a lot more than carved images of wood and stone. Idols of the heart are a much greater concern for many believers. Be careful of what you hold in high esteem. Nothing should be above the esteem you have for Yahweh. Yeshua states in Luke chapter 4 verse 8, It is written and forever remains written, You shall worship Yahweh your Elohim and serve only Him. That is a good place to pause. In addition to your Torah Time Digest book, you get an accompanying study guide. This matches the book, so everything in the study guide should parallel with the book. I will just peruse through it really quickly so you get an idea of what's in it. So you can write down your personal goals at the beginning of the study. You may also write down the key verse. Every chapter has a key verse. So I did read chapter one's key verse. Write down that key verse for yourself. It'll probably be a key verse that you might find in your wisdom crossword puzzle as well. Any chapter takeaways that you have, this is a good place to put it. Also, um, reflections on the book, what, whatever Yahweh is saying to you. Wisdom key number one and love key number one. I do want to talk briefly about the wisdom and the love key. You can get the wisdom key in your book, um, A Love Like No Other. So while reading, you may come across something that strikes you. Um, even in your scripture references, something that stands out to you. So whatever wisdom key that you got from there, that's what you would put down there. Also, the love key should be in here also. So what you're looking for is a wisdom key and a love key that you can write down and record for each section. The study guide is about 40 pages long, so you have plenty of space and time and opportunity to do that. At the end of each thing, you can write questions you still have. We have an online tour time digest club which you can go online and post your questions. I'll be on there to answer any questions you might have. Other people might chime in and, and have a discussion with you. So if you want to join that club, the questions that you still have that you write there, you can post on that club. That is on our website at yahwehnisi.com. That's again, 
Y-H-W-H-N-I-S-S-I dot com.